everyone and welcome to All Creator Tools. I am your host Colsey and today we're taking a look at a tool called Twitch Tracker. Now obviously this is Twitch specific and if you can tell by the name it is to do with tracking things on Twitch. Twitch Tracker is a tool that enables you to track a bunch of statistics, channels, games, a whole bunch of stuff to do with Twitch and information is key as we all know. So being able to use a tool like this to help benefit your stream or the content you're planning or what you think is the next up and coming thing might be super useful to you. So today we're going to just take a look through Twitch Tracker, have a look at some of the statistics you have access to via Twitch Tracker and just uh, have a play around with it really. So here we are on Twitch Tracker. This is just the homepage that drops us in on and you can see already that we are being a little bit bombarded by numbers, statistics, graphs, etc. So along the top, we have the amount of viewers watching, channels broadcasting, uh, the unique games being played, concurrent viewers, concurrent streams, unique streamers daily, and hours watched daily. Now, some of these might not be the most useful to you, but in a way it might help something like hours watched daily might not be super useful to you specifically but it it tells you that there's an audience out there right you're looking at this and you're going 55 million is a lot of people that watch streams daily if i can get myself a small piece of that then that would be ideal again it's not something you can really use to help benefit you like some of the other statistics might be to do with like uh if a game is doing well or if it's if it's highly performing at the minute but it's still a statistic that is useful to know and you're in an industry that is thriving and you're not in an industry where nobody's paying attention you know just below that we have the top streams of the week and the top live channels so this is based on the top streams is based on peak viewers and the top live channels are based on viewers currently watching. So we can have a look at all that stuff there. There is percentage of the total Twitch. So we can see that this channel here is 4% of Twitch's total. So if we go below the top streams and the top live channels, we have uh, the latest most popular clips. Uh, and then below that, we have most popular games currently. We have trending games. We have uh, followers absolute growth, followers relative growth, viewership absolute growth, and viewership relative growth. So again, there's a bunch of stuff here. To me, one of the most useful tools is probably looking at popular games and trending games specifically. If a game is trending, it's generally going to be doing quite well at the minute. That is what trending means. And it might be a game that you want to hop on, give it a go, see if you can find yourself a couple of extra viewers, find yourself some new people to add to your community in there. Now, obviously, there's more than just the one home screen that we can look at. We can go into games specifically. We can see here that I believe this is the most watched games on Twitch for the last seven days. Uh, so you can see that just chatting is high up there. That is not games specifically, but you can search for games only, I believe. Games to stream. Uh, these are the games to stream, which is the median viewer. So the median viewership for the streamer in the category reflects the viewership and average Average streamer is watched by uh, average viewers, average channels, ratio viewers to channel ratio reflects amount of viewers per everyone in the category. Okay, I, I understand how it's doing its math here. It makes sense. So it's saying like, you know, there's 30,000 people watching Kings League, average viewers of 30,000, but the average channel is only 12. So by that metric, you if you were to stream it, you're likely to be gathering some viewers from that as opposed to something lower down the list like marvels on stream there's only 2.6k uh, average and there's 69 channels so you, you're sharing that viewership around a bit more it doesn't always necessarily mean that you want to pick the top game and be like boom that's the one i want to play or the one with the highest ratio there might be a particularly large streamer playing that and that is where that's coming from it's it's it, may, it might be worth having a shot at you know it might be worth jumping on some simpsons hit and run to play it's a classic game it's very fun and who knows you might grab some viewers from that that enjoy your content and enjoy yourself and just enjoy what you're doing and come back for more in future that's the idea now we can also take a look at you know channels uh the average channels 10,000 so that's the most that makes sense Fortnite it's a very popular game hours watched so this is giving us what the most hours watched were which is just chatting makes sense peak viewers special events again that makes sense League of Legends as well huge game makes sense that these things would have the max viewership at one point uh, so this is the list of the highest recorded number of concurrent views of all time 
Makes sense. Special events, of course, is going to be that's going to be high. Uh, peak channels, the maximum amount of channels. Again, Fortnite, it did it did blow up at some point. I don't know if it's doing quite as well right now, but thankfully we can look into that with Twitch Tracker. So if we click on Fortnite, we can go into more detail. So we can see right now uh, the live viewers, the live channels, the rank, average viewers, uh, average channels, all this good stuff. There's a lot of statistics here and we can go we can go back real, real far. We can go monthly. You can look at the monthly uh, averages and the peaks of the channels and viewers. Viewers are in green and channels are in blue. You can see that here. You can also go into way more statistics here and look at gains and percent gains and peak streams and all that stuff. It also gives us the top clips. I don't know what the top clips are ranked in. Are they, they must be all time, I guess. Yeah, these these seem to be all time. These are from the 1st of May, 2016 to, to today. So that makes sense. You know what this might be very useful for? I've just, just considered this, just top of my head, just, just come up with on my own if you were to make a a tiktok or a youtube shorts or something or you were just looking for like the best clips of fortnite if you were making like a real short video like that twitch track has done it all for you mate i mean they're all here from a bunch of different creators but if you were to do some sort of compilation of, of sorts of of a game that you liked particularly and you were looking for the top clips uh then twitch track has already got you so that's pretty cool. But let's take a look at a different thing. So instead of looking at game, let's take a look here at a channel on Twitch Tracker. And we're going to look at uh, Games and Quick. Games and Quick. I like Games and Quick. I've watched many of their live streams. Enjoyable stuff. And it's for charity. So all good stuff. Now we can see here, we can look at their performance. We can look at it over a week, a month, three months, all time. A lot of options here to look at stuff. We can see how many hours streamed, average viewers, peak viewers, hours watched. You can see all the statistics on the screen. You you can read, I believe you. Uh, you can see their subscribers uh, and you can see how many paid active subscribers, how many gifted active, how many all time active, all that stuff. We can see the live stream that they're currently doing. You can see their recent streams. You can see their max viewers. Honestly, when you're talking about looking into your analytics, something like Twitch Tracker has it all in one place for you, right? You can look at a channel, whether that be your own channel, whether that be a channel uh, of close size to you or close in the kind of content they're making. It's a really good tool to be able to do your research, to really look into it. And I know sometimes that like it can be a lot, right? It can be very daunting looking at all these numbers and graphs and things, but it can be very beneficial to look into the data, to learn, to grow from that, to use that to your advantage, whether that's finding a game that you think is just on its on its uptick and joining into that game before it hits its peak so that you can try and grab some of the viewers that are going to be interested in that, or whether it's just finding what a channel you like is doing and, and imitating that. I don't know. And there's a lot that you can do with it, right? There's a lot. That's just one idea, you know, finding a game and picking it up on the way up. There's so much. There's so much you can learn. You could learn, uh, oh, this specific day or this specific time of year always seems to be better for streaming. So I need to make sure that around that time of year, I want to be doing as many streams as possible. I'm sure there's a million things that you can learn from the statistics. You're just going to have to have a look for yourself. That's the main thing. Again, not only do we have all their statistics that are, you know, for the past streams, we have the most streamed games, popular clips from that specific channel. Again, if you were going to do some sort of compilation for maybe a channel you liked or a friend of yours, Twitch Tracker has already got all the popular clips already here. They're very easy to find. They literally give you them. So I think that's really cool. I think that's really cool. There's a lot of information here to look at. And it's not all about researching other people. You can obviously use this to look into your own channel and look at your own statistics. I know that YouTube has a, a side of, uh, it's a very big part of YouTube is looking at the analytics and learning from that. And I feel like whether you're on YouTube, whether you're streaming on Twitch, wherever you are, learning from your analytics is very important. So having a tool like this that is absolutely free for you to use is very, very useful to helping you grow, helping you learn and helping you see patterns in the content that you're creating that can help you to uh, grow to that next level to continue to grow. I think that was a little brief look at Twitch Tracker there, just to kind of give you guys the idea of what it's all about and what it could be useful. So I hope you guys found this useful. Please do remember to subscribe to us here at All Creator Tools. It really does help us out a massive amount and we really do appreciate it. And we look forward to bringing you more tools in future. Thank you guys for watching and always remember to have fun creating.